Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I'm going to share a little piece of software that I came across that I like to use. I've been asked many times by people when I'm presenting or teaching or troubleshooting, I always share software with people to make their jobs easier and I'm getting more and more requests saying, hey, could you just uh, make a video with that? Can you share your tips and tricks and your software? Sure, here we go. So this one's called Simple IP Config. I've just come across this just a few days ago. This is uh, very, really, really recent for me. Uh, it's on SourceForge and it's called Simple IP Config. And it literally, you create little profiles, network profiles, so you can change your IP settings. So if you need a static IP for something, like to configure equipment, or you're on a network where you need a special IP within a certain range to do things, well, there you go. So I'm gonna just jump right into it. When you download this, you get an executable. That's this thing. It builds this INI file, which I am going to cover in just a few seconds. And then I just create a PDF of that page just for my own personal notes. So big tip number one, right click, run as administrator. Super, super, super important. If you do not run this as administrator, then guess what? It's not going to work all that great. So the first thing I like about it, uh, obviously I'm going to use my Wi-Fi adapter, but I'll just briefly show you. It'll see Bluetooth, that's a VPN connection, uh, that's my Ethernet, so on and so on and so on and so on. So you could really play with a lot of different adapters, which I really like. Uh, so it's not just Wi-Fi and Ethernet. It, you can actually control lots of other profiles as well. It gives me a little description that it's my wireless adapter and my MAC address. That's really cool because I'm a uh, Wireshark packet guy. So I'm always um, referencing the MAC address. It's nice to have that right up there. Down here below, it gives you my computer name. Great. And it gives me the work group or domain that I'm on right now, TTF, which is awesome. So these are two sample profiles that I made up, static and DHCP. And static, you can see I've got myself static IP address. And DHCP, everything's kind of grayed out. So let's go back to static. This is pretty standard stuff. Whoops, I clicked on the background, sorry about that. And you can see it's pretty simple stuff. I've given myself an IP, a subnet mask, and a default gateway. And then here, I've given myself DNS server, and you've also got an alternate you can put in there as well. And if I want to register myself, my name, then I can check that as well. DHCP, as you can see, everything's all grayed out. And if you just want to use a profile, you click whatever you want to click, because right now I'm currently, I have a static IP. I click apply. And then, now here's a little thing for you, right? You click apply and you just wait, wait, wait. You're going to wonder what, what the heck happened. It's not working. Well, just don't freak out. You have to hit refresh. When you do that, then there's my IP, right? Because before it was dot three, now it's dot one, one, two. There we go. Um, I'm also going to click back on static for a second. And let's assume that I want to change my default gateway to dot one to another router. And I want to give that a different name. I'm going to click new. And I'm going to call that one, I don't know, router.1. There we go. So now I've got myself a new profile. It's that simple. If you want to delete the profile, you hit delete as well. Um, literally, that's all there is to it. So now I'm going to just spend another second. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to double click on this INI file, open it up with good old notepad. And I like this. Good old standard INI file. You can edit a lot of stuff without running the app. If you just want to make some simple configurations or copy and paste, create a whole bunch of new profiles, you can do that as well. For example, that router.1, assume I don't want that one anymore. I can just uh, highlight all that. Delete. I'm going to just close. I'm going to save. And now, if I run this, right click, run as administrator, and you will notice that it's gone, right? So there you go. Uh, that's it. I'm not going to bore you with all the obvious stuff. I'm sure you'll figure it out as you go along. Neat little app. Enjoy. Have a good day. Bye for now.